Hi guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here, and you know, I want to talk about a really cool animal that a lot of us are afraid of, but I think if you learn more about them, maybe that'll help. I'm talking about bees, wasps, yellow jackets, and today we're going to talk about paper wasps, and there's a nest right here by me. Now you're probably thinking, what are my nuts hanging so close to a wasp nest? Well, here's the cool thing. Paper wasps, while they do sting, we'll talk about that in just a minute, they're not known to be aggressive, surprisingly enough. The only time that they're going to attack you is if I were to put my hand in there right now and mess with that nest, they're going to attack me. Well, of course, that makes sense because that's their babies in there. And the last thing they want me to do is mess with their babies, so they're going to protect their babies. So obviously, you have to be careful when you're around these types of nests because they'll sting you because you're a threat. So just keep that in mind. But paper wasps, pretty cool. Let's talk about that nest right now. You see that thing that kind of looks like a honeycomb? It's got all the holes in it. Well, inside of those holes, the babies. And if I were to pull that off right now and show you the inside of it, there'd be these little white grub worm looking things. And they'd be going beep, beep, beep. And what they're doing is they're waiting for mom and dad to come back and feed them. How crazy is that? So yeah, inside of those holes, little worms that are going to become those paper wasps. But let's talk about that nest because that's where it gets cool. They're called paper wasps because they literally make nests made out of paper. They make their own paper. So cool. So what they'll do is they'll fly around, they'll find an old fence post. And I'll tell you what, here at the zoo we got a lot of old fence posts. They take that the wood from that, they chew up little pieces, and then what they'll do is they'll swish it around in their mouth. And it'll make like a, a like a like a really gross paste. And they'll put that paste, which then dries in this paper form, and it makes this nest here. And of course, that's where the babies are formed. So they make it out of wood just like paper is made. How cool is that so when you're out and about look for these things and you probably wonder why are we sitting in front of an old truck here these guys will build their nests anywhere it doesn't matter if it's the inside of a door it could be underneath the awning in your house I've even seen them being built under rocks weird places so when you're out and about look for them don't get too close because you don't want to make them mad but remember if they do sting you it's gonna hurt and believe it or not some of the thing old-fashioned things that work pennies on it it does help take the pain away. I know that sounds weird, but just make sure if you're allergic to it, go find yourself some help. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy with our paper wasps here at Zoo Montana. See you soon.